we're going back to, uh, old reliable. Like, is this just... Is this just going to be the best racer for me? Like, just, there's no point in trying any of the other characters out. T Team Garfield. Garfoiled, sorry. Apologies. Okay. <laughs> oh, there's a puzzle piece over there. But see, this is one of these things that, like, look at what I have to do to get that. I have to stop racing. It's not like it's naturally part of the track. Oops. We're so much for better. We're so much better than this. So much for better gameplay. Okay, I'm doing I'm doing well now. Whoop, whoop. Who did that? Oh no. Stop! I'm I'm already dead. I'm already dead. Stop it. Right, I'll take it. Third, still in the top three. Wait, I didn't even do a Grand Prix. Oh, okay, practice then. I've been playing this longer than I had anticipated originally. All of you go to sleep. Everyone go to sleep. Yeah, eat that. Yes! I think the magic wand is definitely the best item in this. Just... Conceptually. It's unique. It's cool. Oh no, I hear it. They're going to set up somewhere annoying, aren't they? I don't know how you're supposed to avoid- That takes you out of the race for so long. That's two. That's already- that's two. Like, back to back practically. Okay, double perfume, let's go. <laughs> this is making me race worse. Whoop, whoop. Oh. This is not gonna change my fate. I did about the same. It's all right, doesn't mean I can't win. Wait, what's going on back there? <laughs> what was that? I think the skybox didn't load properly or something. There's just a massive hole in the back of the map. You can kind of see it from here. There's like a chunk of, there, look, look at that. You can see it in the background. There's a hole in the ceiling. Oh my god. Odie, please. It's still there. I'm not sure that was there before, but there's just a massive hole in the ceiling. It's okay. One dollar game. I'm fine. I mean, this does the job as a kart racer. I wonder how many people are going to have nostalgia for this one day. Like, you know... When I'm in my 50s, there's going to be somewhere, someone out there in their 20s who'll be like, oh, dude, remember Garfield Kart? They'll talk about how they got Garfield Kart for Christmas one year and just, whilst it wasn't Mario Kart, they just had a lot of fun with it. It's going to happen. Like, that's the thing. No matter how you might think a game is horrible, there's always going to be some kid out there that gets it and actually enjoys it and then has nostalgia for it one day. Again, that's like two back-to-back -back UFOs. <laughs> what is this music? A three, again, that's three. Okay, hold on. Let's just be smart about this. Okay, he didn't take the fall, but I will... Oh, I missed! First place! Excellent. <laughs> All right. That's what I needed. I think this one so far has been the music that's on point thematically. Yeah, if you want a boost? You want a boost? Yeah, go, go take the boost. Take the boost. Do it. 
Take the boost. Uh oh. I may have squandered my lead. Oh. <laughs> that was so close. Okay, that's one UFO. I'm wondering if I can trick it. Jump! Oh, yes! What? Why? Everyone suddenly caught up. <laughs> yeah, that's right, Harry. I think that's the most bizarre thing to come out of this for me is not just the voice acting or just how this seems very strange as far as a kart racing game goes, but the fact that I have learnt about Harry the cat. Yeah. Oh, oh, you're gonna use a you're gonna use a gem on me. I'm gonna take you out with me. I'm kind of curious as to how how Harry is portrayed in the comics. Just a little bit. The Garfield Cinematic Universe. Okay, still third place. So I think I can still get in the top three. That turn. This makes me want to play Simpsons Hit and Run. That was a game that uh, had, I don't know, like visually it kind of had a feel like this. And I guess that one was more like a weird GTA. But I do remember that game making me angry. <laughs> there was some stuff you had to do in that game that... Oh man. Good work, Gorefoiled. Yes. Oh, yes. No, I've, I've ruined this completely. All right, it's not as bad as I thought it was. Okay, I can't mess up here. I was kind of waiting for that. I was like, no, just just hang in there just a little bit longer. Oh, you dick. Oh, I got played. No more, don't you dare. What did I say, no more? All right, first place. This Gorfoiled is supreme. <laughs> All right. Well, yeah, Garfield caught for one and a half hours. But you know what? I mean, that's fine, right? Like, I wasn't expecting anything major. I got my fun out of it. I hope it was entertaining to watch. Uh, now, before I wrap things up, I want to go down this rabbit hole first. There's a comic someone made called Garfield minus Garfield. And all this is, is they take an existing Garfield comic and then they Photoshop Garfield out of it to just make John look insane. It's like this, for example. Nothing bad has happened today. As he talks to no one. I probably shouldn't have said that. Or just John just kind of just screaming for no fucking reason. <laughs> and then just going back, going back to normal. And this is a rabbit hole I went down and I just could not stop because like some of these are pretty clever <laughs> remember the time yesterday when I almost ate a donut I've been thinking about things and then there's nothing well check it out the suck is really long <laughs> this is such a brilliant concept and it's just as simple as photoshopping Garfield out. No, th there's one, there's one I want to find in particular that I was laughing at for a good five minutes. Hang on. <laughs> oh, you know, he's just gonna suck on a, a packet of ketchup. Oh, dude, this one's dark. This is just, just depressed. Garfield did something and, you know, he, he's unhappy. So this was probably funny originally, but when you take Garfield out of the equation, it just looks like John is just depressed. Oh, that's horrible. <laughs> Why am I laughing at this? <laughs> this shouldn't be funny. <laughs> Do you ever get the feeling nobody cares about you? <laughs> oh my god. I saw this through Twitter originally, but this website's kind of amazing, not gonna lie. Oh yeah, this is no, this is the Schizo John arc. <laughs> Hang on. I think the guy across the street is a zombie. 
He's just like this unhinged, paranoid dude. This is probably way funnier than what the original comic was. <laughs> oh, my, oh my god, that bottom one. <laughs> Do my elbows match? <laughs> like... <sighs> oh, man. <laughs> I should start saving some of these. Because some of these are fantastic. Okay. This, this is the one. <laughs> this is the one that... One of the first ones I saw. And I was just... I was just <laughs> laughing. I'm still laughing at it. You know, it's just John telling his sofa that it's time to go to the vet. So he drags his sofa all the way to the vet. Ah... <laughs> uh, it's so good. It's so good. All right, we'll do a couple more. Oh, now now John's just talking to himself, just saying, I'm not a loser most of the time. A lot of the time, some of the time, a little bit of the time. John having an existential crisis, just... The world existed before you were born, and it will exist after you're gone. <laughs> what is going on here? Say, if there's a mint on my wrist, where's my watch? Okay, I, I think... <laughs> Yep, this is, this is, this is a good one to end on. Yep. <laughs> yep. Yep. <laughs> Much like this stream, uh, this has gone off, off the edge now, so.